to my little uh, unboxing. My first unboxing on the Proud Papa. <clears throat> Alright, see you guys in a minute. Ooh, pulling back the pieces. I gotta go somewhere where the sun isn't shining too bad. Oh, here comes the other monster out the door. Oh, your favorite stuff. Ooh, that's good. I can't do styrofoam. Fucking no. So we have. <laughs> so we have a instructional book. We'll just toss away. <laughs> First thing we'll oh. Holy shit, a lot of heavy pieces. So uh, you guys will be going somewhere else. Hold on. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> What's that? I love it. No. I can do it. And I, where would you want? Comes with all the nuts and bolts and a shitty screwdriver. Nice. <laughs> Alright guys. Had to rip down the sides of the freaking box here just to get out some of the parts and pieces. But here's the rip it the hell off. There we go. Look at that sucker. It's like twice the size of the one I have. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have fun trying to put it together. Sunshine. Here's all the train coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's gonna get loud in a minute. Parts and pieces. This is the uh, roller. I don't know if I can open it up. No, I can't open it up yet. But we'll get it out. We'll get it set up, and then we'll show you guys the rest of it. All right, guys. We got the uh, the base going together. Nothing's bad. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. It's just all these little uh, slots and screws all along here. Obviously that's where the tank sits. I just gotta put the back, I guess, on next. I think it's my next step. And then the doors. And, of course, I know I threw the instructions away, but... Yeah, I gotta use them, unfortunately. That's for me. You're yeah. using them, I'm using them. Okay. Yeah, unless you're using them, not me. Urgh, I don't need them. Fuck them. Anyway, back in a minute. All right, guys, we're coming along. I'm just going to show you the uh, progress so far. We've got the, the doors on, side panels are on. Still got the plastic on here. There's the side burner, which is Melissa's favorite item because we uh, steam most of our food. So now we can do it outside. Don't have the, uh, the guts inside there yet. But it's got four burners on the front. And then fifth burner over here for the to resist yeah, the what's it called? Side burner. Side burner. Well, uh, there. So we'll get the, the guts inside of it, and then I'll show you it. Then Melissa picked up some dinner, and uh, we'll cook that up for you guys, and we'll enjoy eating it while you watch. See you in a bit. Okay, Chris, go. I'm gonna go past that chair though, if you can move that for me. Yeah. All right, guys, it's all uh, put together. I'm going to show you. I got something else to show you that's a little a little funny. Funny to me, anyway. But, uh, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. I got to back up. Bum, bum, bum. The unveiling. All put together. Open her up. Ugh. Sun. I don't know if you guys can see that well, the sun. There we go. So, like I said, four burners. Uh, some kind of cabinet for the tank and all that shit. Side burner. She's huge. And just to show you how huge it is, why I wanted to do barbecue, I'll take, here, uh, there. I just took one of the grills off. We'll come over to my old barbecue here. Old Faithful. And we'll slap that sucker in there. Look at that. <laughs> one side of the new one is the same size as my old one. That's why I wanted a bigger barbecue, since I love queuing. And everybody around here likes to eat the barbecue. Yeah, yeah. 
Ah, so that was and project. He doesn't eat briquettes. He's got the flavor weed. <laughs> yeah, no briquettes. I like my briquettes. Oh well. All right, so we're gonna get the tank hooked up. We're gonna slap on our first. Uh, what would that? What would that be? Steam. No. Break a bottle of champagne against a, a ship. Steam. We're gonna christen the barbecue with some steaks. And we're gonna enjoy them. While you guys suffer. And that was project two today. I had to take the uh, pop up here and replace part of the cable for the crank system to, to elevate it. What a fucking pain in the ass that was. Oh well. But it's back, it's up, it's running. The neighbors are gonna borrow it to go camping this weekend. So I had to fix it anyway. I went to pop it up and one of the cables snapped and, and you know, had to fix it. So I'm not using it this weekend, but I had to fix it. Uh, if anybody wants to borrow it, give me a call, leave me a message. <laughs> it just sits here. All right, guys, we'll uh, get back to you in a second with the food. Food! <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. Ugh. Crack it open here and... I know. They look puny on there. This went out and got three steaks. Well, technically four because that one broke in half. But I got hers and Chris's over here on two burners because they like them pretty much burnt. We're um, medium rare guys, so I only got one burner on. But this is a first attempt at trying out this new barbecue, so don't really know what to expect. It's not my, it's not my briquettes. <laughs> Such a big baby. Uh, I know. But I do have a question for. Uh, for, I got a question for you guys. Fuck. There's a part here on the back here. Let me uh, spin this back around and show you. Down in the back, there's this chain that came along and it's got this little uh, long spring thing here. And I have no fucking clue what it's for. There's no instructions. So right now it's just dangling off the side of the barbecue. It's on the same side as the, uh, the lid for the side burner. I thought maybe it was a spring for the side burner, but it doesn't go anywhere. So if anybody out there knows what the hell that's for, please let me know. I'm sure somebody out there has got to know what it's for. Oh well. Here we got the fancy, the fancy dancy uh, drip tray, I guess for grease. And then just move this thing out of the way or take that off and the whole bottom slides out for cleaning and all that. And I guess I should have put the lid back down before I went back there. But look how puny those steaks look on this big massive barbecue. And they're actually fair size. Well, that's not really a fair comparison because my spatula is fucking Fred Flintstone spatula, so. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, those are our steaks. We're gonna enjoy them. Oh, the fucking sun. Where is she? Oh, okay. Are you looking all cool now? Yeah. Alright, thank God. You're welcome, baby. Love you. I love you. So we're gonna eat those, enjoy them, and uh, if everybody knows what the fuck that little spring thing or that little doodad's for, let me know. The, do uh, the thing, my bobber. Yeah.